Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back in my bedroom today, as you can tell. And today's video is going to be a huge clothing haul for you guys. I honestly didn't notice how much clothes I've been purchasing lately until I went to film this video and I started pulling everything out and I was like, God damn, I got a lot. So anyways, that is this video for you guys today. And I'm so excited that it's not a makeup tutorial because I know I am probably annoying a crap ton of you guys with all these makeup tutorials that I have been putting up lately. I honestly have just been really obsessed with creating and I've been kind of like in the groove and coming up with makeup looks. I don't know why the room looks so dark right now. Um, but anyways, so I brought my lights back into my bedroom once again and I have this video for you guys. So if you guys are new to my channel and you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that little button down below before you go. I hope you guys enjoy what you see and let's just jump right into the haul. So before I go into clothing, um, I have been purchasing some makeup, but I'm still waiting on a package that I ordered from Stila. Um, I ordered the like magnis magnificent metal kind of thing. So I didn't want to include makeup in this video, but I do want to talk about this because I saw Desi Perkins put up a skincare video and I saw Lust Lux also um, Katie put it in her video so I accidentally ran into it at Publix and it's expensive as shit for this little ass bottle but it's worth it so this is the desert essence 100% um, Australian tea tree oil um, they both talked about this for spot treating and right now I used to use the Mario Badescu and honestly right here I always have a lot of texture and I keep putting it on to like spot treat it and I keep like using the Clarisonic and all that kind of stuff and it wasn't going away so I figured why not just try this and apparently this is super harsh on your skin I don't know too much about it so if you are watching this and you are interested in it make sure you research it um, but I saw that she wets a Q-tip and then she dips it in here and then she spot treats her face. So I was like, let me just try it. You know, I don't really know what it is, but apparently it's good for your face. So I tried it and this right here went away. At line, I'm not kidding. It went away overnight. It's still like kind of a little bit showing, but for the most part, it went away. And I also get some texture right here on my neck because I do drag down my foundation. Um, so it literally went away compared to what it was before it went away so as of right now this is a game changer for me i've used it i think three nights now and a lot of the texture on my skin has gone away so you're not i don't think you're supposed to use this like every day it says right here add one to two drops to a wet cotton pad for application um to a appropriate skin areas so i don't think you're supposed to use this as like a toner per se, I do believe that you're supposed to dilute this and use this as a spot treatment. If you want to try this as a toner and like use it all over your face, I would be really careful because I think it, it smells super strong. The scent is bad. So I believe it's really harsh for your skin. Like I said, don't quote me because I don't know too much about this, but I would just use it as a spot treatment. But other than that, you guys need to try this out. I picked mine up at Publix, but I believe you can find this on like Amazon as well. And it was $15 and it's only two ounces, but this is going to last me forever. Try this game changer. Moving on to clothing. I honestly, in front of God, I have not shopped at Forever 21 since I was like in college. And I don't know why randomly I'm like, let me just go check out their stuff. And they have amazing workout clothes. I know I said it workout clothes. I, nothing pisses me off more than spending like 95 to hundred dollars on some workout pants like Nike. I think that's a little bit ridiculous. Call me crazy, but I think it's a little bit ridiculous. I feel like now that I own a home and I have kids, I can spend hundred dollars on like 25 other things and spending hundred dollars on one pair of pants. So needless to say, I was looking on forever 21 and I noticed their workout clothes. And honestly, I work out every day. So I'm really big into workout clothes and like being comfortable. And now that I'm a mom, I like to wear my pants high waisted just to kind of cover, you know, like my mom pooch. So their workout pants are so high quality. And I think I've washed these already like seven times and they haven't faded or anything like that. They're a little bit dirty. Okay. Because I don't wash my workout clothes every day. Judge me if you want to, but um, I picked up these and I'm a size medium. I do have a bigger lower half and a medium fits perfect. These are super high waisted and I'm gonna fold them so you guys can really see. And down the middle, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, it has like a mesh detail and it goes straight down all the way to the bottom. And these do hit your ankle. And what I like about it is that the waist, um, the high waisted part is a super thick band. I don't know if you guys can tell. This is like an athletic wear and then this is like a hardcore elastic band. So when it does sit high waisted, it definitely like 
sucks you in, which I like at the gym because I like to feel like, you know, everything's like in there and tight. Okay. And for the next workout pants, it's by the same brand, I believe. Um, they are not as thick and the elastic band on your waist isn't as like thick and hard, but I, stu I do still like these. And again, these are dirty. Sorry. Um, and these are... They have like a mesh on your thigh right here. I hope the camera's picking it up. And then it has a mesh down here, like a little bit below your knee. And I super, I like really like these just because they're like plain black, but they have these little details that kind of make it stand out and make you feel kind of stylish at the gym. And again, even though it doesn't have that thick band up here is thick enough where it does suck you in and feel like it's tight. And these, I've actually, I literally just got them in the mail today. Same brand. Again, these are like a dark heathered gray and they're capris. And what I like about these is that they're all the same in the front, but on the side, it has little cutout holes right here. So I think that's a really cool little detail. I don't like super intense pants anymore. I used to be really into like those pants that were like super graphic-y and stuff, but now I just like to be simple, but like cute, if that makes sense. Um, so I like these little cutouts right here. I think that's super neat. And again, these are high-waisted and they have a thick band. I'm all about high-waisted, girl, especially after kids. These are tank tops right here. And this is from um, this is from Cotton On. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of that store. I honestly just happened to run into it at the mall one day. And me and my husband fell in love with it because it has awesome basics. Um, so this is just a basic, like, I, what do you call this? Like a peachy, pinky kind of workout tank top. But what I like about it is that the back has this like ladder detail so it shows your sports bra in the back which I think is super cute so I bought that in that color and then I and then I bought it in this like black marbly let me see black like marbly white detailed kind of shirt and again the the back is like that ladder detail where you can see the sports bra so I think that's really cool. Okay, so I bought two hats from Forever 21. I forgot the black one. I think it's somewhere out there, but it's pretty similar to this one. It is um, a black baseball cap, but the front is like um, a reflective material. So it kind of looks like this white one back here with the holes, but the black one has it in the front. Um, and I just picked up this white one because I kind of wanted just different colors to wear to the gym. I wasn't a hat person, but I keep seeing all these girls wearing hats to the gym and I'm like, they look so freaking cute. I don't know if I can rock a hat like that. But I don't care, I wanna wear a hat, so I've been wearing it. And let me tell you, it's awesome for days that you don't wanna do your hair and you don't have to like kinda of look put together put together to go to the gym or like you don't wanna look homeless, you just throw a hat on and you look kinda of cute, you know? So I got this one in white and it's like that nylon material, so it's like, I don't know, like that scratchy, loud material, I don't know. But super cute, the only thing that scares me about white is that it's gonna get super dirty really fast. Uh, we are still on like the athletic sporty kind of style um my husband recently purchased these adidas superstars for me for our anniversary and i'm obsessed i literally wear this with everything those that black hat that i was telling you guys about some leggings and like a baggy t-shirt I, I just think it's such a cute like sporty like going out to run errands kind of style i'm obsessed with these these are awesome for the last pair of like i guess tennis shoes you can say i picked up these nude ones right here which is basically the same style as those adidas ones but i picked these up from lola Shootique. i really like these but i will say because they are like that faux suede material they do get pretty dirty um so i try not to wear them too much but when i do wear them i love how cute they are before I move on to like clothing articles that are a little bit cute, um, I wanted to talk about swimwear. So again, I don't know what it is about Forever 21 for me guys, I've been obsessed and it's so weird. I really feel like they've been stepping up their game. It, they've like really gotten kind of expensive stuff on there, but you can really tell that it's like worth the quality and it's not like cheap. Like before I feel like I would wash Forever 21's clothing and like in two washes it would be destroyed, you know what I mean? So I... Since, like I said, I'm kind of insecure about my body since I had kids, I wanted to start rocking some cute one pieces. And honestly, it's really hard because I have a bigger lower half. So, and my top half is kind of petite. So when I wear a swimsuit, it could be loose on the top, but then super small on the bottom where it kind of like when I walk, it turns into a thong kind of thing. So I picked this one up right here in a large just for that um, say. And since it does tie up top, I'm able to really tighten it up top so it can hold me in, but then it won't become a thong on the bottom, but it's not like granny panties. It's still pretty sexy on the bottom half. So this one is like a plunging V-neck right here, or not V-neck, it's just like a plunging line. It leaves a really bad tan, I'm not even gonna lie, but it's cute. And then it ties at the top, it has these two fringes, and then it's super low cut on your back. It's like a halter style. And then the butt is like, it's so hard to show you guys this on camera. And then the butt is like kind of cheeky, 
right here and this is like only 19 bucks for a swimsuit so i love having like a staple black swimsuit then i love this swimsuit i like fell in love with it like i said in my like i think i said it in like two videos ago anything olive and anything high neck has my heart i am telling you guys so i saw this swimsuit on forever 21's website and it's a high neck olive green swimsuit it goes like this and this right here is kind of like a looser thinner material but when you get to like sucking in your pudge or like your little pooch right here it's thicker and it's tighter so it really holds in your stomach which I like and then up here is a little bit looser giving you a little bit more leeway um, up top and then what I love about it is that the back is open it's an open back and then it has this lace up hold on it has this lace up detail right here with these gold little hoops on the side so i really love how like the front is like simple classic sexy and then the back is this lace up detail to make it a little bit more sexy but still simple if that makes any kind of sense i love this with those swimsuits i saw that they were having like a sale so i just wanted to pick up these sandals they're like super cute just simple gladiator kind of sandals um they're like that coppery material or coppery color and then they have this ouch they have this gold detailed right here excuse the paper i like couldn't figure out how to get it off so i gave up has this gold detailed right here and then it has a gold buckle so i think these are so cute for the summertime as well with those swimsuits and like a cover-up would be really cute okay and continuing on with forever 21 i picked up this romper right here which is kind of broken i just noticed it um it's like this mesh material let me back up it's like this mesh material up top and it's like this aqua sea foam kind of green color um it has this like lace what is happening right now it has this like lace crochet detail and it's like a bell sleeve and it's shorts of course and i just love how like simple but like feminine and dressy this is i just feel for like mother's day or just like nude heels like lace up heels this would be super cute then this romper is olive green you guys saw this in my um get ready with me video that i just put up it's a high neck olive green romper which i just picked up from forever 21 as well it's so cute it's like so simple but so classy with like nude I, I don't even feel like i would wear this with flats it's like so classy it's not even funny so your shoulders are cut out this is like a choker around your neck and it's tight it's like loose but then tight around your wrist and it's shorts as well and then in the back it zips all the way up and it ties around your neck into a choker this is so cute i love this romper it's literally so cute i haven't even worn it yet except for that video and i love the idea of like sweater dresses not sweater material like kind of like you're wearing like your boyfriend's sweater you know what i mean like that with like some thigh highs I know it's not really the winter time anymore but this is such a thin i'm trying to like fix it for you guys because right now it's all over the place it's such a thin material that i could totally wear this for like a night out but i want to be like casual and comfy but like sexy at the same time i would totally wear this with some thigh highs it's olive green i know it's bad it's bad i know the addiction is so real do not judge me anyways it is olive green once again and it's a super thin sweater material and it is a dress so it goes down to about like mid thighs down here um i would totally pair this with some thigh high like black boots maybe leather boots or something like that for like a sexy night out but i kind of want to look chill but i still want to look sexy kind of look yeah i don't know if you guys are catching my drift Okay, and then this t-shirt is just like a basic t-shirt. I don't know how I feel about it now that I got it. I always am drawn to these colors, but once I get it in person and I put it on, I feel like this color just doesn't look good on me. Like I feel like since I'm tan, it kind of like washes me out. But anyways, it's just like a basic t-shirt and it has like a rip right here. So you look kind of grungy and then it has a rip down here as well. I wore this, I think with jeans and like the same color, a little bit darker, like cognac booties. And it was really cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about this color myself. Whatever. I feel like maybe if I was to wear this with some high-waisted jeans or black like leather pants and I was to like tie it into a knot in the front, that would be really cute. I'm going back to cotton on, I know, but you guys really need to check out that website. I got this olive. Oh my god, everything is olive. I got this olive green, sorry, off-shoulder top. It goes right here. I don't know why I buy off-shoulder stuff because it's so annoying to wear. Does anybody feel like that too? But 
Anyways, it's still super cute. So I got this olive green off shoulder shirt and the sleeves again are like this loose flowy sleeves and it's super lightweight kind of linen material. So this is gonna be perfect for the summertime with some shorts or over like a bathing suit or something. And then again, like I said, Cotton On has great basics for great qualities. I got this shirt in two colors. The other shirt is dirty at an olive green basic t-shirt and what I like about it is like it's like that heavy material it's not just like a basic tee it's like that heavy loose flowy material and it sits kind of long but not too long so I like to pair that up with like um skinny jeans like high-waisted one and I'll throw on some cute heels for that casual like but cute night out kind of look or you could totally pair that with those adidas and some leggings and a hat and you're good to go and I got another basic tee and this tee I'm not too much of a fan of it's like that basic classic tee material and I really am obsessed with that loose flowy one um and I thought this was going to be the same thing but this is like just like a basic t-shirt um so I'm not too 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 huge of a fan of it it's gray and it has like gray lines going across it um I would pair this just for like a casual like errand running day kind of thing or um tuck it into like some high-waisted shorts or something I got it in white as well so I hope you guys enjoyed my huge like summer kind of spring athletic wear haul I don't even know what, I, what to call it a huge random clothing haul but I hope you guys enjoyed that video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing something different if you guys have any other ideas of what you'd want to see next let me know down below so I can brainstorm and kind of think about it I know I saw some people say they want to see like a how to stay in shape honestly I don't even know why you want to see that because I am not back down to what I was um, after the twins but it's whatever um, I want to get somebody else to come on camera and film with me doing their makeup again. I definitely want to do that. And I am kind of brainstorming some like festival ideas like Coachella makeup looks because I know that is coming up soon too. So just let me know down below any ideas that you guys have. Again, I am sorry that I am in this room today, but I wanted to talk and I didn't want to do a talk over video because that would be super weird for a haul. But I am done rambling and if you aren't subscribed to my channel and you're new here and you like what you saw, make sure you hit that little button down below before you go. and. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.